Well, I am Sayward Darby. I am the editor-in-chief of the Atavist Magazine, and I live in Brooklyn, New York. I've been a journalist since 2007, 2008, uh, when I graduated college, and I have worked at a number of different publications. I've been at the Atavist Magazine for gosh, four years, uh, and Atavist has been part of Automatic for about three years. The Atavist magazine was founded 10 years ago. Uh, we actually just celebrated our 10th anniversary in January, and it was founded by three people, Evan Ratliff, who was a writer-editor, Nick Thompson, who was a writer-editor, and Jeff Rabb, who was a developer and designer. And we have a really small team. Um, I'm the only full-time staff member. Um, we still publish once a month uh, and each story has its own team. Um, and Ed uh, is the art director for all of our stories. Of course, there's the writer of each story. Occasionally there's more than one writer on a story. Um, there's also our copy editor, Sean, who works on an hourly basis. And, uh, and then Ed always finds incredible artists. We like to think of ourselves as a place where young, or you know, new writers who want to take a big swing at a story, uh, who you know might not have their pitch answered by uh, a legacy publication, a print publication. Um, we're willing to work with them to help them take that big swing. I think in terms of audience for the Atavist, you know, we've always had a pretty modest approach. We know that our stories are long; um, they're a minimum of eight to ten thousand words. Um, and therefore people who want to really commit to reading a story. And we recognize that that's not everybody and that's okay. And so we uh, really try to focus on telling the most compelling stories possible and letting the stories and the way that they're designed really speak for themselves. Um, but we've also found that, you know, exposure for the stories, finding different places to share it. Um, so Apple News has been um, a great platform for us for the last year. Um, we get great referral traffic from social media. Um, and then we do have a base of subscribers. Apple News uh, pays us a licensing fee for our work um, and records the stories for audio as well. Um, and we also make money through Autumn, which is an app now uh, owned by the New York Times that records stories for audio. Our most dedicated audience members also are aware of our wider mission, um, which is something that in terms of engaging audience and developing audience, we try to promote a lot, along with whatever the most recent great story is. We try to talk about how important long form journalism is, um, how opportunities are narrowing in the industry, how we are trying to keep you know the doors open to new voices um and i think there are audiences in journalism and beyond who really respond to that so if you subscribe 50 percent of that is going to writers through um our royalties program which is very unique in the industry um and then uh any the, the other half that we keep is actually just going right back into storytelling to fund future stories we also do work with uh, film and TV studios. So a lot of our stories are of interest to producers in that world. And so we have longtime representation in Los Angeles uh, and they work to sell our stories to, to studios. So and that's also something that we split with our contributors. Um, so again, if we're benefiting, they're benefiting. The Atavist, I think, is uh, a representation of how uh, Automatic as a brand um, and WordPress.com within that as a you know tool set um, can be very empowering for publishers of all sizes. You know, we're a small publication, not a legacy publication. We consider ourselves pretty nimble and innovative, and that makes sense within the automatic mandate. And, you know, now that we are built fully with our new website on wordpress.com, um, and specifically through Newspack and, and uh, the, the set of tools that was created for that, um, I like to think that we are showing how dynamic and flexible those tools can be for storytellers. In June, we are uh, launching the first podcast, narrative podcast that we've helped develop. Uh, Cadence 13 is the uh, podcast company that is producing, directing, and uh, distributing it. 
uh, and it is a fun true crime podcast <laughs> about an art heist, um, a the, the theft of a real pair of the ruby slippers worn in The Wizard of Oz um, that were taken from a small town in Minnesota and didn't come back for 13 years. So uh, we will be launching that in, in June, uh, I believe two episodes at first and then weekly after that. The best way people can support The Atavist is by subscribing. Um, you can go to magazine.atavist.com slash subscribe. We just love when people talk about our stories, share our stories, engage with our stories. So if you read something, tweet about it, uh, share it on your blog, uh, tell your friends about it, <laughs> tell your mom about it.